Hello there and welcome to another episode in our PySite 6 tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Qt6 Designer uh, and loading those UI files that you save from it into our Python PySide 6 uh, projects. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to do a pip install on PySide 6. So uh, let's go down to the terminal window here, type this in, uh, pip install PySide 6. Uh, this will be pretty quick because I've already installed it. For you, it might take a little bit longer. This will install both PySide 6 and uh, Shaboken. Okay. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to set up a new Python file. We're going to call it main.py. This will be our main application entry point. There's a couple of things we have to import here. Um, we're going to bring in sys uh, so that we can do sys.exit and sys.argv. Uh, and then we're going to bring in pyside6.qt widgets. And from it, we're going to bring in um, uh, two, two, uh, two parts. We're going to bring in the um, application and the main window. After that, we're going to say Q uh, main window. This uh, class main window. This will be our main window. We're going to extend Q main window to do that. And then we're going to define our uh, init. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and do dunder init. And inside of here, we're only going to do one thing. We're going to call super, uh, and we're going to pass in the name of the class and the self, the self-reference to that class. Then we're going to call dunder init on that new object. After this, uh, let's go ahead and create if dunder name uh, equals dunder main. Okay, and then um, in here we're going to set up our app. Uh, this is will be the queue application that we brought in at the top. Uh, we'll go ahead and pass in sys.argv since we brought in the sys package, and then we'll set up our window. Our window is going to be the main window that we just created above. Okay, then we do window.show so that we show it, and then sys.exit, and we're going to wrap app.exec underscore. Uh, this is how we start our application. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, and we should see a window pop up uh, after we've loaded the main application. Okay, wait for it to start, and there you go. That's it. That's the main window. And uh, now we're ready to actually dive into uh, the actual designer part of this. So back in our terminal window, we're going to type in inside of our virtual environment, we can type in PySide 6 dash designer to use the designer that gets bundled with PySide 6. You could also use Qt Creator if you want to use it. I don't know if it's QT or cute. Uh, it looks like everything loaded off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and bring all these windows over here so that you can see everything that gets loaded up by the designer from default. We're also going to change a couple of things once we actually set up the main window. This will just take a second. I think that's everything. Select uh, main window, uh, since we're doing a main window, a Q main window here. Uh, and once we do that, all we have to do is create. I went with the default 640 by 480. OK, here we can see the main window in the center here. This is what we're going to be working with. You can see there's a place to put in the file bar and our um, status bar at the bottom here, as well as our main content area. You can see the name of this is main window. And all the content's going to go into the grid pattern here in the middle. We're not going to jump into any of these other widgets or layouts or anything like that. All we really need for this demo to show you how to load it is a label. So we'll grab the label. We'll drop it here in the middle. Double click the label to select the text. Go ahead and put in uh, hello world or whatever you feel like putting in. Uh, you can see the label isn't big enough here, so we'll stretch it out. Uh, and then you can see stretching height and width, it stays uh, centered here vertically, but not horizontally. Uh, so we're going to go over here to the uh, 
properties window, we're going to scroll down. You can find the alignment, open that up, and change the horizontal alignment so that it aligns horizontally center. So that's all you need there. All right, now that we're done with that, there's a whole bunch of other things here. You can see the layouts. We can dig into those in a further tutorial. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to save this, and then we're going to go back to our PyCharm window. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this whole out, uh, save this whole thing, and we'll give it a name. Uh, let's go ahead and call this main window. It's going to put it into our PySide Six Designer project that we started up. And so, once we call this main window, oh, sorry, not UI, uh, main window dot UI. Okay. Click save, and now we're ready to go back. Okay, now you can see the file gets created here. Um, oh, except it looks like the designer is still open, so let's uh, go over to the designer real quick. Let's go ahead and hit Control-Q to close all of that. That way we get our terminal window back. Now we're going to use is we're going to use a an application, PySide6-UIC. What this is is a UI compiler. We're going to take this UI file and we're going to convert it into a Python package that we can now load in to our application and it will create the UI for us. So to do that, all we really need to do here on the command line is uh, put in pyside6-uic and once we do that we'll be able to load it into our application here. Okay, so. Here we go. Let's go pyside 6 uic uh, And then we want to give the name of the file we just did. Main.ui. Mainwindow.ui, sorry. And then uh, let's call this UI underscore mainwindow.py. Now what this is going to do is this is going to take and compile, oh, I forgot the little greater than symbol here. Uh, so it's going to take the main window.ui, which is an XML based file, and it's going to create the Python code to set up that entire UI. Okay, it'll output all of that. And that's what we're saving it into is UI underscore main window.py. Once that's done, you can see the, the file gets created here. Let's open it up and take a quick look inside. You can see it's an auto generated file. And we have UI underscore main window as the main class in here. And then inside of it, there is a function which will help us set up the UI. Once we do this, you can see there's um, the labels are in here, the central widget that we were working with. All of this is here. It all gets set up for us. And um, yeah, that's really all there is to that. So once that file is actually created, now we're going to come in and we're going to load it and use it. To load it, we're going to use it inside. Uh, we're going to uh, go up to the top of the file here, sorry, and uh, do from that file we just created. So from UI underscore main window, import UI underscore main window. Then we can actually come down and add two lines to use it. The two lines are going to be self.ui. So we're taking the defined UI and we're replacing that with the UI that we just imported from that uh, Py C, or that Py file, Python file. Okay. Then uh, we can do self.ui uh, dot setup UI. So we're going to call that setup and we're going to pass in the parent, which is the main window class that we're loading here. And that's all there is to it. Let's run it and see what it looks like. So if we click run, here you can see now we have a main window. This is a cute main window with a status bar at the bottom. There is no menu bar because we didn't define one, but you can see hello world here to find in the middle. And that's really all there is to it. So I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial series where we'll dive into the world of cute a little bit deeper. Uh, thank you all so much.